Hi guys, welcome once again to The Locker, I am your host, Legends of Cybertron, and today, actually I sound a bit hoarse, don't I, so you know, never mind, it's okay, it's first thing in the morning, probably because I've just woke up, so I thought I'd have a go at this, um, anyway, to, on today's list, we have these dudes, Ex now, let's see if I can try and say this properly, Exiomorph Studio, or Exiomorph Studios Shaftacons, or Shark Monster, as it says on the box. These are basically a downsized third party. Um, well, no, really, from uh, Hasbro's studio series, uh, when it's uh, like a deluxe size, you know, that type of thing. Pretty much, it's actually just a downsized version of that. And I would say, out of that, well, there's only two lots of Shark Guns out there, like I've said in the Versus video, there's Mechfans Toys, and there's these. These are actually more, I mean, nicer to look at, but don't get me wrong, McFans toys are uh, still very much in line for being probably some of my favourite Shark Guns, if I'm being honest. Um, I mean, there is eye gear, but eye gear are a little bit too big. Not, to, not for your legend scale, anyway. Anyway, these are pretty much the same as what Hasbro have... Um, or what Hasbro bought out. They transform the same. There are a few differences. Like on the heels. There's no purple heel bits here. Uh, it's blue instead. Uh, when you lift the canopy up here at the back. That canopy doesn't come off. It's solid. I don't even think you can see it in there. But you can't quite see it. There's no joint. It doesn't come across. I don't think. No. It doesn't come across. There's no joint to it. Whatsoever. And I don't even think the back kibble comes off. No, it doesn't. Kibble doesn't come off. It stays exactly where it is. Now, what you see here is basically what you get in the entire box. There is no instructions. But with it being a straightforward copy, downsized of uh, the deluxe version, if you're already familiar with the deluxe, you'll be probably familiar with the transformation of this. Bog standard. The only difference is that you get three in this for the price of, say, Hasbro's one. And to be fair, these are actually pretty damn good. I mean, the, the detailing is actually really nice. I mean, the detailing is right the way down to the old... Is that a clear picture? Let me look. Hold on. Can't really see that. My camera's not focusing. There you go. The detail is actually very good. Um, it is literally a straight copy. No matter how you look at it, it is actually nifty. So, without further ado, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you the gums as well. It's just plain, plain grey plastic. Just do that. So you can do this. Oh, well, I can do this and show you. Okay. Um, the detailing, obviously, there's silver paint on the teeth. There's like a bit of greeny metallic on the eyes um this obviously it's still light blue colors on the legs and the heart and the arms and the tail the hands are still purple uh the teeth like i said metallic well well basically silver it's quite nice i like it i really do like it so without further ado we'll just grab him and to put these two to one side just for a minute and let's just show you the quick of the box so as you can see, the box is, I need to just pull that back a little bit. The box is just, it's pretty bog standard. That's something. It says A and B. Now, they, I don't know if there's a, a second version out or if there's going to be a second version. All I know is that it basically says A and B. Do with that as you will. You probably, probably, there's probably somebody out there who knows already anyway. And that's the back of the box. Nothing on the side, nothing on the side. I like I say, doesn't come with instructions, which flummoxed me at first because I was like, oh my God, it doesn't come with instructions. 
but it's fine. I found some and I did it. So now I'm just going to show you these comparisons. Okay, so. Oh yeah, sorry, the articulation is basically the same. The, the leg comes out like that, as you can see, on both. That still goes like that. That still goes like this. You know, the range of movement still goes to the... You can pose him quite well, actually. I mean, you can literally do that with him. Joints are a bit stiff, I will not lie. See? Quite good, though, really, when you think about it. It's really, it's really cool. It's a nice little uh, bot. It's a nice little transformer. Oh, yeah, and the, the teeth kind of come round to there if you wanted to, but you've got to keep them back or whatever. Uh, just do this one as well. There we go. Okay, let's get to a few comparisons. So we'll go with New Age first. So first off, we've got uh, is it Scavenger and Bone Cruncher, or Bone Crusher, I can't remember his bloody name. Two, ha two bits of Devastator, there you go, from New Age. That's the size of them compared to him. Okay, Scavenger and Bone Crusher. Oh, no, I'm right, aren't I? Bone Crusher. Then we've also got the Insecticons by New Age. Oopsie daisy. There you go. Should move that along a little bit. There you go, that's better. So that's your Insecticons. I'll shove these over here for a mo. And then we've got New Age Reflector. They are pretty much the same height. Yeah, yeah. Just give or take about a, mil a millimetre or two. That's it. They are pretty much the same height. And then we've got Kang Toys. Excuse me, just let Reflector, Reflector will not stand up. There we go. Kang Toys Dive Bomb. So you can see the height of him. Why is he not standing now? What the hell? Stand. Good lad. There we go. Kang Toys Dive Bomb. Okay. Then we've got New Age Starscream. Oh, he won't stand up now. He's standing now. Run him up. Or is that run about? I can't remember. Run about, is it? Ah, okay. Him. From Iron Factory. <laughs> there you got Magic Squares Megatron. Okay, then we've got Dead End by Rising Force. Still a nice little figure, that. Just keep checking the camera, see if this off. That's better. That's a bit better. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, leave it there, it's fine. Can't quite see the head on uh, the shaft con, but never mind. Then we've got uh, Blitzwing by M Mechanic Studios. Quite a big difference there in height. And then we've got Mechfans Toys Six Shot. Just move the shark to come back. Okay. And we'll move him forward. And we'll just bring in Motor and uh, no, Motor Master Menasaur by Magic Square. Which I will just raise it back there, see? And that's how big he is to Menasaur. So, let's get to transforming. Okay, well first off what you need to do is you need to take out your gun or your weapons or whatever comes first. And then what we're going to do, we're going to fold in the, the heels like so. Like that. And fold in his arm, his hand, sorry, like that. You see? Just basically going to his feet. Quite good really, quite good design. And then this normally would actually come off on Hasbro, but this just unpegs and goes up like so. Okay. And as you can see, that's pretty much how it goes. Now, if I turn this, the detail they've kept the detailing. Obviously, because it's a straight copy, they kept the detailing on the inside of the uh, bot. 
I will not lie, this is actually quite stiff, this figure. I have transformed it once, but it is still stiff and the back cable would not sit down for nothing. But I think that's because of the way I transformed it. So obviously the hands go backwards like so. Like that. And this bit comes up to the. So as you can see, that's how it goes. Okay. So basically he can stand up like that. Well, not stand up, fall over, but you know what I mean. Anyway, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to fold the legs over like that. Fold, well, that the foot. We're going to fold the foot and fold the leg into that bit there like that and then fold it round into the, that peg. Do you see the peg now? That's your peg there. And there's a nice little hole there underneath. So again, fold it round, fold it round like so. Put it in like that, peg down. Okay, now this is where it wouldn't fit in before because there's two peg holes there and there's two pegs there, as we all know from the uh, Hasbro version. So, what we're going to try and do is going to try and bring that round. Oh, do you know what? I bet that's why I don't really do it. Uh, I see. Okay. Well, obviously, wait. We bring the back, bring this over like so, and we bring the back down. Now, as you can, I can see. I don't know if you can, but the pegs are just slightly off. I probably need to bring it in or over a bit more. Oh, hey, it's going better now. Maybe, maybe not. <sighs> now, see, that's this is where the trouble comes. I mean, it's actually not pegging in. So let's just do the arms first. Bring the arms around to there. Bring them around to there. Oh, these gob like that. And then. Yeah. Bring his arms round to there and obviously bend it at the knee or at the elbow, depending on which form you're in. I'm just going to try and get that pegged if I can. See, they won't actually peg in for some reason. Yeah, it's not going in. So, obviously, I mean, that's probably the best I can do on that one. But as you can tell, it's, I mean, how many people are going to do that with a shark to come? You know, <laughs> come on, not many. And then, obviously, we're just going to put the tail in there. It's probably upside down the tail, but I don't need it upside down. Nah, best way. There you go. Right, there you go. That's it. That's pretty much it. Ta -da! Obviously, you can can't really pause the shark on that much, but as you can tell, I mean, you can't really see the back. I mean, that is a massive gap there, but it's not pegged in at the back. So there's obviously something done wrong with the with the legs. Something I've done that won't let me peg that down properly. I mean, even when I'm looking at this now, I. I wonder if something to do with the that maybe. No, no, I can't see it. You watch this video in a minute, going, "Oh, just fast forward for God's sake." <laughs> Sorry. Is there something I'm doing wrong here? Not 
from the tin. The head round, maybe? I made nothing now. Nope. 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 It's not doing anything. A bit of green paint there at the back as well, by the way. Just why we're looking at this. Yeah, it doesn't really. I mean, obviously, it's supposed to clip down, but it's not clipping down. Um, no idea why. That's pretty much it, really. I'll let you know in the comments whether I can transform the other one. I don't really want this video to go on any further than what it is. Um... I mean, like I said, though, you, you always end up having shotguns like that facing you, don't you? You don't really have it that way. Not really, but... I mean, that is a bit off-putting, really. But uh, it's literally... It's not pegging in. Maybe the bits need filing down or something. The legs do look fine, I think. Yeah, they look, they look okay. They look fine to me, but I'm probably missing something. That that did that. No, it's still not pegging. The legs must be just slightly off. Either way, right? Sorry. Anyway, so that's pretty much the uh, shark guns for you. And that obviously we'll just have a quick demonstration next to reflector and uh, this guy and Megatron. Just to show you what the shotguns look like in alt mode. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully I can get this back cable done and, you know, let you know what it's like. It could just be just this figure. The other ones might be all right. I'll let you know in the comments. Uh, well, in the comments or the description. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Put my teeth back in. If you like my content, please do like and subscribe and tell your friends about me. And come and visit me on Legends uh, of Cybertron on Instagram or... Legends Kill Collector or LegendsKillCollector.com. I'm also on Facebook uh, and a nice little Legends group on there. Uh, so, yeah, come and say hello. Bye for now.